In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the new add-ons that were released last month, in addition to major updates of popular add-ons. We're gonna start off with GeoSim. If you wanna create cool-looking planets in real time, you might find this add-on useful. As you might have guessed, it uses shader node groups to help you easily customize your planets. It's actually good when it comes to volumetric rendering, and it allows you to control density, thickness, and color using the add-on shader. GeoSim also includes real-time shadow casting clouds to add a bit more realism to your projects. This is possible because the shader can convert an image or procedural textures to volumetric clouds automatically. There is also a separate node group to help you handle all the texture maps that will make the planet look cool. We're talking about maps such as albedo, specular, roughness, normal, and emission. Next is RBD Lab. RBD Lab is a Blender add-on that was released a few months ago, but the recent update made it way better. The add-on helps you take full advantage of Blender physics and particle systems, from fracturing objects to making them explode, adding smoke, debris, or advanced use of constraints. It has a linear workflow, from fracturing, rigid body, constraint, simulation, particles, and more. RBD Lab not only reduces the time to achieve great results using Blender, but it can also do more and the recent update brought with it more features related to meshes details, colorization, the visualization of low and high fractures, in addition to new features related to boolean and subdivision options, also rigid bodies, chipping, smoke, etc. True VDD. If you want to create high quality volumetric effects such as explosions, magic and weather effects, then you probably will find this add-on called True VDB useful. This add-on works using VDBs that have been simulated, animated, and baked out, and brought to you with build materials for over 40 VDB sequences so far. And the add-on itself comes with 10 ready-to-use VDBs, but TrueVFX developers offer three other packs that combined reach 40 VDBs. These assets can be very hard to create, in addition to being time-consuming as well. And the great thing is, you won't have to do the work, since it is all simulated and baked and ready to use in different scenes. Extreme PBR Nexus This add-on has been around for more than a couple of years now, and it is used by many artists because it provides a huge library of ready PBR materials. With the new release called Nexus, it now contains almost 2,000 high-quality materials that can be adjusted to any particular case. The materials that you will get with Extreme PBR Nexus can reach a volume of nearly 200 gigabytes, but you can decide whether to install all of them or not. You can choose based on the resolution you need, from the minimum of 0.5K to the maximum of 8K. This is important because different assets need different resolutions. Also, sometimes artists' needs depend on the strength of their machine and the scope of the project. Traffic 1.4 Traffic 1.4 was released recently with new updates and more vehicles and assets. It is actually a library of 3D vehicles including cars, planes, boats, motorcycles, and traffic assets. This particular release brought with it 10 assets, 4 watercraft vehicles, and 6 aircraft vehicles. Furthermore, the developers added a new feature of the wear and tear slider that will allow you to quickly add dirt, scratches, and add bumps to traffic assets. This feature is really important if you want to create scenes with damaged vehicles. If you want to do it yourself manually, it may take a while to do so. But with traffic, I believe it's gonna be easier and much faster. Next is Gardener. The Gardener add-on allows you to create realistic and believable types of vegetation that can be found in gardens. Vegetation such as shrubs, bushes and hedges, and the good thing is, you don't have to do the hard work yourself, especially if this kind of stuff is not the focus of your work. All the assets come with high quality textures with the PBR workflow, and when it comes to rendering, they are totally compatible with Cycles and EV. This add-on brings with it 350 assets from 39 varieties of plants, as well as 45 models of trunks and 96 biomes. These assets have been chosen based on popularity and how often they are used and needed in such visualization projects. Next is Simply Wrap Pro. This is an add-on that was created to solve a problem of wrapping meshes around objects in Blender. You can actually do this manually, but it will be longer and harder. The way this add-on works is really interesting. You just need to select your collision object and start drawing in a zigzag motion or any motion. And you continue doing this movement while drawing the mesh or piece of cloth you want to be wrapped around your object. 
After that, you can increase the resolution or the number of points on the line. You can also change the size, the offset, in addition to whether the mesh is twisted or not and how. The add-on brings with it other assets that will be useful to create this kind of stuff. Human Generator version 3 Human Generator version 3 was released the last month and it brought with it many remarkable improvements. For example, completely new and improved hair that looks more realistic and believable. There are now 30 hairstyles in total, between brand new and improved. There is also a new batch mode that will allow you to work on multiple characters at the same time. This can be very helpful if you are populating a scene indoors and especially outdoors where a lot of people are needed. And the best part is, human generator performance is improved to handle the sheer number of characters in the scene. Next is Zensets. This is a new Blender add-on that can help you work on your projects while having more clarity. The main functionality of Zensets is allowing you to create and manage section sets of the three mesh elements, which are vertices, edges, and faces. You can save them, modify them, and display them by color, which makes it a lot easier to manage your collections. The add-on also has two modes, Sets Mode and Parts Mode, which can be applied to all the mesh elements. These two modes will help you make the process of selecting groups and mesh elements easier, and you can do that faster too. I hope you found this video useful, if you did please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.